Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm going to talk a bit about the process of switching from Eagle CAD to KiCad because I've been an Eagle CAD user for years. I've practically learned how to do uh, PCB layout on uh, Eagle CAD. So there is a little bit of uh, emotional uh, attachment to that software because it's basically where I learned this skill to do PCB layout. And to be honest, a bunch of years ago when I got started, Eagle was the uh, best option you could go as a hobbyist. There weren't uh, many uh, alternatives available and Eagle was the only one offering a uh, freeware license and had decent capabilities. So it quickly became popular among hobbyists. It didn't have all the bells and whistles of the big boys like Altium or Cadence, but it did the job and it did it in a user-friendly way. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB supplier who can offer 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for just $2. You also have a selection of solder mask colors with no extra cost and affordable laser cut stencils, so it's definitely worth checking them out. Since it quickly became popular among makers and hobbies, this also meant there was an abundance of support on the forums as well as a bunch of uh, user-generated scripts and parts libraries freely available on the internet. It was similar to the popularity of the Arduino, but it was never open source. And if you needed to do something more like a four layers PCB or a size which was larger than eight by 10 centimeters, you needed to get a license for Eagle. The years have passed, people were working on projects more and more complicated, including myself, and so we started feeling the need for more advanced features in the PCB layout, like differential pair routing with length matching, push and shove, or the ability to easily generate footprints in the library editor. But Eagle was slow to bring these new features. It took them years to implement these and it only happened after they've been acquired by Autodesk. And so there was an opportunity on the market for an open source software to be developed and gain more traction. Both Eagle and KiCad were around since the early 90s, but Eagle started gaining its popularity in the early 2000s, while KiCad started gaining popularity since 2015 when CERN got involved in the project and invested the resources towards the development of KiCad. These days, when there is software like KiCad, which is open source and has almost all of the nice features of the expensive CAD tools on the market, it makes sense to make the switch from Eagle and get rid of the pesky limitations uh, of the license of the free version. So I started with a simple project. It's the battery level indicator that I want to use for the power drill showed in Vollog 285. There's just a few components in here, which makes it the ideal candidate for making the switch. I must say I had low expectations, I thought it's going to be a painful switch, but I dived right into the schematic editor. Adding components to the schematic was quite easy to figure out, but I noticed some things different from Eagle, which I need to get used to. There is no automatic assignment of component designators as you place them. You can add those manually or automatically once you've finished the uh, schematic, or uh, actually you can also do it uh, while working on the schematic and while placing parts. There is also no direct connection between the schematic symbol for a component and the final footprint, as the connection between those can be decided later when switching to the PCB layout. I quite like this flexibility. I also noticed that while using the move command, wire connections don't stay attached to their respective pins, as it happens in Eagle CAD, but you do have the option for selecting multiple items, including wires and moving all at once. I also noticed the general workflow is based a lot on keyboard shortcuts, which are already predefined, but that's a good thing because uh, once I've mastered all those shortcuts, it should be quick and easy to do the job I want. And personally, I don't want to customize the shortcuts. I just want to use them as they were defined by the uh, creators, designers of the software. I think that's better for uh, future use. After finishing the schematic, you need to generate a netlist, which will later be used to start the PCB layout file. And once I started the PCB layout, I started noticing the power of KiCad. Although there are key differences in which basic tasks are performed, same as with the schematic, here you start to see the added value of the software. The interactive router is really nice, and instead of pressing the middle mouse for dropping vias, here you press V. 
pressing D on a layout track allows you to adjust its position with respect to existing obstacles so that's a really nice feature and if I would have to name three nice things about KiCad it would be number one it's open source Number two, I like how sch schematic symbols are not necessarily tied to a specific footprint and you can decide that later. And number three, I like the interactive router. And if I have to name three things I don't like, number one is wires do not stay attached to a component pin when moving the component. Number two, you have to define your own via sizes for the project. And number three, there is no rip up tool for PCB tracks, just a general delete tool. But as you can see, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages and being an actively developed project, there is a good chance we will get to see a bunch of improvements uh, or maybe these features added in a, a short period of time. I know I've only scratched the surface with this uh, simple project, uh, but it made me realize uh, KiCad is the future, so I encourage you to give it a try. I'm really happy I made the switch. I now feel like I'm no longer constrained by the uh, license of EagleCAD. I am free to use the software as I wish with no limitations. I know there have been some issues with the uh, previous uh, versions of KiCad, but right now the software feels pretty mature and stable and I didn't have any issues. I am also aware of the fact that I'm giving up on some cool features that Eagle added in the past few years, like for example the ability to do a 3D mechanical design in Fusion 360 based on the uh, 2D uh, design of the PCB. But I'm gonna have to find a workaround for that and I'm sure the community already has uh, uh, answers to those questions with regards to KiCad. I would appreciate uh, your feedback in the comments below. Let me know if you're a user of uh, KiCad or if you plan to switch to KiCad from a different CAD package. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and I'll see you next time with a new video.